learning more about the man suspected of shooting the officer. He's 47-year-old James Sapp, and we found out he claims to be part of a white supremacist group called the Aryan Brotherhood. Now, Chris Holmstrom is going beyond the headlines with all this. And, Chris, you spoke to a former member of that group? Jeff, that's right, I did. And he tells me the Aryan Brotherhood is all about crime. Basically, that's how they make their money. And with that comes a lot of violence. Now, at this point, it's hard to say whether or not the suspect, James Sapp, was actually a member. But this violent crime he's convicted of is definitely along the lines of the Brotherhood. It's known for hate crime. You know, whether if you're, if you're homosexual or if you're another race. Jeremy's talking about the Aryan Brotherhood, a white supremacist prison gang started in the 1960s. And if you look at through the tribal, it'll say an A and a B. Now, decades later, that's why you see 1488. There's thousands of members. It's all about bullying. You know, it's all about, you know, just what, you, what I can take from you. And if you don't like it, well, we're just going to stab you and have you beat off the yard. You know, it is what it is. Jeremy tells me he was part of AB for nearly 10 years. He didn't want to show his face on camera, but describes the Brotherhood as violent and primitive. In fact, I learned in order to join, there needs to be a blood tie. Basically, either kill someone or commit a violent hate crime. After that, the main focus is money. It's not about supremacism, it's a business. Now, that's all it is. Anyway, guns, dope, prostitution, whatever they can do to make money, that's what they do. I found out the shooting suspect, James Sapp, also identifies himself as a member. According to these court documents we got a hold of from several years ago, he made comments saying that he would not be housed with anyone of color and that he kept in touch with his brothers behind bars. But it's unknown why he would allegedly shoot a Vancouver police officer. We took these questions to PSU professor Randy Blazek, who researches hate groups. And there's also just sort of this general hostility to law enforcement and the, uh, this us versus them mentality. When you're in a gang, you know, everybody who's not in a gang is somehow uh, your opposition. But leaving the Brotherhood is no easy feat, especially when their motto is blood in and blood out. There's no out. And uh, you really just have to come to the point where you're man enough to actually just stay, take a stand on what you want to do with your future. And what happens if they find you? Well, that could be a pretty bad situation for everybody involved. And Sapp is expected back in court next, next week. He's facing several charges, including attempted murder. Kelly, back to you.